like to welcome everybody to the next step in our cutting board build. We're taking this to the finish in this video. So we've come a long way. We started out with the maple board, inlaid the walnut. Right now we're cutting out the pocket for the, the hog itself. And on the table right there, I've already got the blanks cut up for the maple inlay and the blood wood inlay that's going to go into that. So we'll get into carving those. But I would like to thank everybody for sticking around. Can you do me a favor and drop a comment on where you're from? I've been noticing I've been getting comments from a little bit further away, and I'd like to, to be able to shout out some of those people out there. I know I've got a, a, a subscriber down in Australia I get views from pretty far away, but he's the only one that I've heard from. So drop a comment where you're from. So as we finish cutting out the, from the maple, now I am doing all this with the manual tool change, uh, just because of the tools that I'm using, it just makes it a little bit easier to do it all from this end. So we've got the, female pocket cut out and the male cut out and let's see if we can get them to fit together actually looks like it's gonna be pretty close if I look at it enough oh hey it fits no there was no bandsaw involved in that that just ma magically happened Okay, we're speeding everything up quite a bit, as you can notice, putting a large amount of glue on there, putting some weight on it, wait a day for it to dry. Now we're going to surface down the extra. And we get that one closer so we can have a good Z for our blood wood inlay that's coming up next. So here we're going to cut out the female for the bloodwood. I'm actually using a 30 degree V-bit from PreciseBits.com. Um, fantastic bit. Earlier on I ran into an error where I actually broke my 30 degree that I was using and conveniently uh, run over Precise Bits had uh, shipped me one of these just for me to give it a try and I opened the box the same day that I broke that bit so pretty sure there's a video on that one already so it's looking really good at this point I'm really excited how well this is turning out how well it's coming together so now we need to get in and clean out the or carve out the mail from that so what I've done at this point is I took a one of my errors that I made stay stick around for a mess up video because I made so many errors um, up to this point that we decided that we'd take them out and, and create a video just of the errors that I went through. So this, this project was huge and because of the learning curve, it took me so much longer than it should have, but there were so many things that just little things that went wrong. And so now we're carving out that, uh, blood wood for the inlay. This was one of the longest parts. We've actually got this sped up to 500% speed. So we're really moving here. This was a long process. So because I had that piece of blood wood that was carved or wasn't going to work for me, uh, but was the right shape, I was able to adjust the design to fit into it and then to give it something to be able to clamp down and, and stick down and hold, I attached it to a piece of uh, poplar and so I glued it straight to the poplar and then I, I used tape to hold the poplar down as I'm doing this carve.
And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that over to the bandsaw and separate as much of the poplar as I can and then we'll mill the rest of that off. That's looking real good so far. Hey, if you're enjoying this, uh, hit the like button. Just uh, show me that you, you like the content and you want me to keep going. So here we're going to take the Grizzly. That 17 inch bandsaw with the, it's, it's got the 10 inch or 12 inch resaw capability that is just so nice for working on the bigger projects like this. Okay, we've got that trimmed up. Again, copious amounts of glue. Uh, that looks like that's gonna be too much glue. So, all right, I'll take some of that glue back, but I wanted to make sure I had glue everywhere. So get it set in there. Hit it with a hammer, put some heavy on it, let it dry overnight, come back, and once again, Take that inch and a quarter bit and just hog away that material that's on top. And let's see how this is starting to look. We may actually get our first view of how that inlay is looking here. Now to save on machine time, I actually just made a tool path that was just slightly larger than what I was cutting and pocketed or just cleared surface that. And beautiful. At this point, I'm getting really excited. It has been such a long journey up to here. I think I'm two months into this project by this point. And to have that inlay fit and just turn out so beautifully, it's starting to come together and I'm liking it. So now I'm gonna do the final surface of the board. Uh, what I'm not gonna show in the video, but from here, I actually right here, I took it and cut the outside. So now I've got the outside perimeter of the board and the juice groove. So what I didn't show, I did the juice groove on the back because I figured nobody would want to cut on that uh, Arkansas side. So what I'm not showing here is I have run it through the drum sander. You can see in the background, I did run it through that several times to get that nice and smooth before going back over it with the palm sander. Putting a 40 de 45 degree chamfer on the top and the bottom to give that a nice uh, smooth feel. I also put in some hand holds, but uh, I'm going to show that in a different video. So here's adding the mineral oil. Man, look good. Love the way walnut pops when you get that mineral oil on it. And just the contrast between the walnut and the blood wood and the, the maple. Just gorgeous. Here we are. After all this time, all this carving, I finally have a completed cutting board. Beautiful hard maple cutting board. Actually a pretty big cutting board too. But uh, that was the easy part. Hard part, and the part that I, I like best, <laughs> is that side. So, hard maple inlaid into blood wood, inlaid into walnut, inlaid into hard maple. So, pretty crazy. Uh, long road to get here a lot of lessons learned and i hope you enjoyed the ride hopefully it wasn't as frustrating for you as it was for me but uh, i'm glad i did it uh, i i know the the friend that i made this for uh, he's gonna appreciate it and uh, puts me in a good place to keep moving forward so thanks for watching it's chris with custom creative carvings we'll see you in the next video